All right, so welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna to share with you some insight on how it might trade Apple as it continues to kind of power a little bit higher here with some options. All right, keep in mind, it's not a recommendation to buy, sell, or trade, just my own opinion. And as we kick things off and look at some of these uh, stocks, um, we're gonna go ahead and look at Apple overall. So you can see um, Apple's pulled back quite a bit here. Um, and after this pullback, we're trying to snap up. Now we don't know, even though the volume looks pretty good, we don't know if this thing will actually roll over to retest the support. That's a bit of the problem. And that's one of the things you might want to be concerned about. We also don't know how far extended it is. So I am concerned always about a pullback or a secondary retest. So if I do want to go in and nibble for a possible upside, how might I play or trade this, okay? Because you don't want to go too large. Normally, if you're trying to trade, let's say 100 shares, you know, you're getting your 100 shares, but you might say, okay, well, instead of 100, maybe I'll do 20 right now. But with options, it's a little different. So how might you approach an option strategy? And the way that I would construct this is, look, if you normally do something like a, a, a vertical spread, uh, what you're doing is, I'll just show you the construct of a vertical spread. I might go with 73 days out. Now, the only reason I'm doing 73 right now is because I already got stuff in the 46. So I'll probably do 73. I could do 39 as well. Uh, but I'm just going to go 73. And uh, what I'll do is get something a little bit closer because I need some premium to have some of that juice uh, or juiciness. So we'll go in. I'm going to go and uh, go to the 165, 160. I will sell a vertical. And I already have one that I want to show you uh, here in a second. So I got 165, 160. And I've got this vertical. And now what I'm trying to do is make about 137 right here for a risk of about, what is it, 350 or so, uh, 363. So that's my risk over there. Now I could put a stop in place here, but I do already have a defined risk trade. So it may or, you know, you kind of already have that risk defined. So as a trading idea, I could go in and do something like this, but I would do it more so protected. So what I'm going to do is go in with a little bit more contracts. I'm going to go to the 165 and 155. So I'll spread out a little wider, but instead of doing um, kind of um, let's say three contracts and three like you know selling three and buying three uh what i will do instead is buy one extra put to smooth out that curve and what that does is rather than this going down this way it smooths it out so that way over the next like week or so this will help me uh, a couple weeks I, uh, yes i do start with a little bit of a negative theta but if the stock still continues to go up i still collect that credit and money the point is is that if we come down i'm not hurt as badly and that's really the whole objective whereas if i did just three full contracts and the stock pulls back to let's say 150 i'd be down uh, about 1100 uh, bucks or so okay but if i do a back ratio spread you know at 150 i'm only down 300 bucks so i'd rather be down 300 than 1100 and that's really the point of that is that hey look it's not that i'm not i'm fully protected or anything it's just more or less i'm hey i need to be a little bit uh more careful with this market that's uh call it shaky at best okay so this is a spread that you might consider putting in maybe in a retirement account uh, long portfolio, thinking about the upside move, but you're doing it a little more protected with a shaky market. So uh, going into something like this, and uh, I'll put that in my long portfolio area because I already have a few Apple trades in here, which uh, if you want to take a look at those, I've already got like a little vertical that's now coming back. Uh, you know, it's up 27 bucks, nothing big, but I'm just trying to spread out the positions and spread out the risk. And then I've got another one over here also, you know, 18 bucks or so. So you can see like, you know, as I put more things on there, I've got some that are unprotected and I'm going to have this one that is a little more protected. So I'll have like a little bit of a, a variation to the trades. So I'll let that kind of play and you work the trade in these markets. Let's try go for 10 and um, let's see if that'll kind of go in and uh, we'll let that fill. So anyways, that's kind of the trade idea. How would you manage this trade? So to give you an idea of management uh, with these back ratios, it's almost the point of like, okay, look, what do I want to try to make from this? Let's say I'm trying to make $412 at expiration. I probably won't get there, but maybe if I'm trying to pull off about 250, I probably don't want to lose more than 300. Okay. So where would I get about that 300? It's going to be way down here, which is kind of there. So by the time I get to about 330, 300, I take it off. And that's kind of at that low point. There we go. We got filled on it. So we're set up. We're good to go. There's my 4-3 spread starting a little negative, little negative theta. It's unfortunate. But, you know, if it goes up, 
you're good. But if it pulls back, you're not hurt as badly rather than the $1,000 loss, right? Because this is three contracts or so. So you're trying to pull in you know, 250, 275. So you don't want to lose more than 300, 350, give or take. So that's a trade idea for you guys. Hope that helps. Gives you a little bit of tips and insights. If you want to check out some uh, specific stocks on the charts, check out my other uh, channel there. Um, and uh, you can get more insights to the Critical Charts channel. Uh, and you can see it in the link in the descriptions usually. And uh, we'll see you next time. But if you want to join the Discord group, you can request some other things and ask me questions directly, along with some other great community uh, tidbits, chats, and insights. I'll see you next time.